Hello dear student, welcome to our first episode in physics. Today we are going to make quick review on lesson 1. So let's start now. The first question we have is to prove that work equal half mass multiply velocity square. I should know the left hand side, the dimensional formal of the left hand side is work equal mass length square time power negative 2 the dimensional formal of the right hand side is half mass velocity square that equal mass multiply length multiply time power negative 1 all power square that equal mass multiply in length power 2 multiply time power negative 2 that mean the left the left hand side equal right hand side The two questions we have today volume of a sphere equal 4 by 3 by R K I want to know uh, to get the dimensional of it the volume equal length power 3 4 that is left hand side the dimensional formal of the right hand side is radius cape why I don't try it down 4 by 3 or pi because it's constant constant so the right hand side is equal lens k the relation is correct the third question we have is to prove that force equal mass by acceleration 
force equal mass multiply L multiply T power negative 2 that's the left hand side the dimensional formal of the right hand side is equal mass by acceleration equal mass by length t power negative 2 so left hand side doesn't equal right hand side the fourth the question the area of a square equal length power k the area of anything of any shape is its length but multiply its width that mean is equal length power 2 as left hand side right hand side equal length power k so left hand side doesn't equal right hand side the next equation we have velocity equal time multiply acceleration square velocity equal length time multiply time power negative 1 is left hand side t multiply acceleration square equal t multiply l multiply t power negative 2 all power square equal length power square T power negative 3 I have from here T power negative 4 power negative 4 multiply power negative positive 1 equal power negative 3 right hand side doesn't equal left hand side did use the dimensional formula of pressure if pressure equal force 
by area. Now, I say that pressure equal mass multiply acceleration all by area I start to act mass and acceleration and area mass multiply lens multiply t power negative 2 all by area that we can act by lens square pressure equal mass multiply lens power negative 1 multiply time power negative 2 the next equation we have a student wrote in a physics test the following relation velocity equal acceleration multiply time we have to prove the correction of this relation velocity is act by length multiply time power negative 1 acceleration is act by length power time length multiply time power negative 2 and we have time so velocity equal lens multiply t power negative 2 all multiply t that equal lens multiply t power negative 1 that was the left the hand side that is right hand side so left the hand side equal right hand side the next equation we have a famous law energy equal mass multiply c power square c is act about speed of the light so i have to write it down dimensional formal of the mass equal m dimensional formal of C square equal lens square time power negative 2 that act acceleration power square dimensional formal of energy equal mass lens square time power negative 2 the unit of measuring
is the mass equal to kilogram multiply length we can act by meter power square all by time power square the next equation we have is applying apply the dimensions of physical quantities to verify the relation final velocity square equal initial velocity square plus 2 acceleration multiply distance left hand side is equal length multiply time power negative 1 all power square equal length square multiply time power negative 2 right hand side is equal as the the final velocity initial velocity is equal so initial velocity is equal length power square multiply time power negative 2 plus 2 multiply acceleration is act by length multiply time power negative 2 distance is act by Length. Right hand side is equal. Length power square multiply time power negative 2 plus 2 length power square t time power negative 2. In dimensional we can't get the summation of any dimensional. So the equation is correct.